Have you ever wondered how graphic designers can create these beautiful color palettes that just work? It's actually not as difficult as you may think and today I'm going to show you five different ways or five different techniques that you can use to create beautiful color palettes as well. Welcome to Han Sila, I'm Han, I talk about all things to do with graphic design and running my own freelance graphic design business. And today we are diving into the world of color, color palettes and color combinations. You know the drill, I'm going to shrink myself down and put myself in the corner and we'll go from there. The first thing that we're going to do when we open up our Illustrator document is just double check that it is in the RGB color mode. Because I am working digitally for this project, I want it to be shown in a digital color mode, which is RGB. Now the first way that you can create a beautiful color palette is simply by using the color guide that's already installed in Adobe Illustrator. This is one of my absolute favorite go-to ways in creating color palettes. So what you're going to do first is we're going to just create a few little blocks of color so that we can then recolor them. I'm just going to create a palette that has six different colors in it. So let's set this up quickly. I'm literally just choosing random colors using the color picker. I'm not trying to make anything beautiful or anything bad. So now we have our six colors and now I'm going to duplicate all six of those so that we can work with the color guide. So we're going to click on the color guide. And as you can see here, I have the dark blue selected. If I click on the beige, it'll change. If I click on the light blue, it'll also change. So we want to make sure that we have the color that we want to match selected. So here we are. And if you click on the color guide and you click on the drop down arrow, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of different color combinations that you can choose from. So using that as a base, we're going to use the blue as our base color and then build a palette from there. So let's try and match the colors that we have on the left in a more harmonious feel. So we're just going to carry on and click and try and match the colors as closely as possible based on the suggestions that the color guide has given us. This is really not a difficult way to create beautiful color combinations and color palettes. So we can also swap between the blue or the orange or the pink in order to build the best color palette possible for what we are trying to achieve. You can also use these color palettes as is because they have a variety of tints and shades. A tint is when you add white to a color and a shade is when you add black to a color. So the color guide gives all the tints and shades of those particular colors. So it's really helpful. I decided for this beige color, I want to make it a little bit more yellow just so we can have a pop of yellow in this palette. So here we are, we recreated this according to the color guide in Illustrator, which means that all the colors are going to work really beautifully together. Let's do another variation. So I'm just creating six more blocks and I'm going to start with a base color of purple and I'm literally just going to use the color guide and just in one of those color suggestion panels, I'm going to mix and match and play around and boom, here we go. I mean, that's just a beautiful color palette. Let's try it again. So I'm going to create this green color and let's look at all these different ones. So we're going to make something fresh and I can imagine like this working for like a health brand or something like that. I don't know. It's like all healthy and like earthy. And let's do one more. So let's go with like a red base color. And I'm going to use this one that has blues, pinks and reds. And look at that. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of green, but I don't feel that green's working. So let's just lighten it up a bit. And okay, let's change it to a yellow and a purple. And there's another color palette. It's so simple and easy to create color palettes using the color guide. The next technique that I want to show you is super easy. You drag and drop an image into Adobe Illustrator and you're just going to use the eyedrop tool to pick different colors in that image. It's really simple and easy to do. Here I am just building a color palette based off an image. Another way that you can use an image to create a color palette is if you drag and drop your image, make sure that you embed your image and then go to object and then say create object mosaic. So let's do a four by four grid because that will give us 16 colors if my math is correct. Now we can pick and choose the different colors and create a more cohesive color palette that we want. The next tool that I want to show you is the blend tool. Personally, I don't really use this tool as much, but I think it'll be good to show you guys how to use it. So you create two different shapes and I'm just going to do one blue, one orange, and then you go into object and blend. First, you need to set your blend options. So we're going to change it from smooth color to specified steps. And let's say maybe six steps, that'll be fine. Then you go back into object blend and you say make and boom, you've got like a blend between the colors. So we're going to have our starting point, our end point color, and then our midpoint color, which is kind of like a blend of the two. And that's how you can do a really simple palette. The next technique that I want to show you is using the website called Coolers. I'm sure you probably know this. Every graphic designer knows this website. But if you don't know it, type in Coolers, go into their color generator and click your space bar in order to change 
the different colors. You can also click the little lock button in the bottom and that will lock the color so that it won't change. So you can carry on and go through and build your ideal color palette simply by just doing that. So we're just going to continue click, click, clicking. Oh wait, okay, I like that color. So let's go back. So click the back button. And here we have a nice set little color palette. It's really cool. You can also export it as an image, as a PDF. You can choose if you want it as a hex or RGB or CMYK or Pantone colors or anything that you want. So I'm just going to call this one color palette one. It's saved to my downloads and there it is as an image. I just exported it as the hex codes, but now you can use those hex codes and bring them into your Illustrator file. This website is really cool and they've recently updated it to have a whole bunch of new tools. Previously, they just had the color palette generator, but now as you can see, there are so many more other things. You can also explore different color palettes. That was also part of the OG one. You could explore all the time. But basically, if you're part of the Kulu's community, you can upload your color palettes onto their community site and you can browse and explore the different color palettes that are trending or doing really well. If you see a color palette that you like, you can click on the color. It'll actually copy the code to your clipboard or you can view it in full screen so you can see it nice and beautifully or you can even export it as a pdf as an image so we're going to export it as a pdf this time because previously we exported it as an image so i'll show you what the pdf export looks like boom just like that super duper cool so that is another way the next tool is the image picker so this is actually new to coolers you can browse an image so you can upload your own images you can also use the plus and minus sign to increase or decrease the amount of colors in the palette, which is pretty cool. And you can also change how you want to pick the colors. So it'll rearrange around the screen. So let's drag and drop an image quickly into the image picker. And as you can see here, it has picked up certain color palettes, but I feel like it's not picking up the oranges. So let's drag the color pickers manually and you can do that too, which is really cool. And then you can export your palette as seen previously. So really cool. Also, I wanted to add in, this is not sponsored by coolers. I just use coolers quite often and it's quite a fun thing to do. The next thing we're going to look at is the color contrast checker. This is a very interesting and important tool. It's also new to the coolers website. Basically, when you are designing, you always need to be mindful of your contrast. So this actually gives your colors a score, whether they are good or bad for type. Now, this is obviously mainly for if you are having words or copy or text or typography. So this is something very important. It also gives a little write up about how it works and why it's important. So you can read about that. But you can see here, like having two dark colors is not going to work or having two light colors is not going to work. Here we've got a score of 16.94, which is a really good good score which means that it can be easily read by people. The last thing that I want to show you is the palette visualizer. Now this is also a new part of coolers. The most important one for me is probably the bottom left which is the one that has all the different logo variations. Because I'm a graphic designer this is what I will use most likely. Again you can use the plus and minus you can add more colors or subtract more colors. We're going to go with five colors because five is what you get with the free version of coolers. And you can use your spacebar to change colors or you can click generate. And if you look at the drop down next to generate, you will see that there are a large variety of different color combinations that you can create, which is pretty cool. And then obviously you can export again. So let's export this as an image. Now I'm going to shuffle it. So that's what the little shuffle button does and it'll rearrange the colors, which is also really cool. You can see how they work with other colors. So I really, really love that. And you can see here the generate drop down with all the different variations of the color combinations. So that's also really cool. And you can just continue swapping through the colors by clicking the space bar. It's really easy to use. Some of these are a little bit extreme for me. I feel like I would need to tweak some of these color palettes. But that's the great thing about graphic design is you can always use this as a starting point and then go back in and edit. You can also see what it looks like in illustrations. So let's go back quickly because I like that color combo and let's shuffle it now to something that will work a little bit better. They also have icons, which is obviously very convenient for me as a graphic designer because I'm often creating icons and that sort of stuff. And let's look at this cool typography illustration stay strong so this is also really cool let's find a nice color palette we're going to browse this one and explore and I quite like this blue and orange one so let's shuffle it and see if we can find a nice palette and there you go so this is a really nice website if you are feeling completely stuck and you don't know where to begin and like I said you can use this website for free I think if you want to join the community then you have to sign up 
Now the last technique that I want to show you is actually getting inspiration from other designers on Behance. So what I will often do is go onto Behance and then I will look at some projects that I think their colors look really good. So for example, this little QB illustration, I think that is super cute. Yeah, I really like these colors. That's really, really nice. And I love that they've got all these little sketches. It's super cute. Right now I'm looking to see if they've included the color codes in this because then I can just copy the color codes. It doesn't look like they have put their color codes in this Behance profile so what we are going to do it's a simple fix we're just going to do a good old screenshot and then drag and drop that screenshot into illustrator but before i do that i'm actually going to quickly give this a like because i really appreciate this one i think it's really cool so let's drag and drop it and put it into illustrator and now what we're going to do is literally just use the eyedropper tool and i drop the colors that this designer has used or this illustrator has used for these designs and this is a great way of creating a color palette using other designers creations basically i can see that this color palette works really well so if i create a color palette based off of these colors it's obviously also going to look really beautiful so let's go back into behance and look at another project i really love the colors that are got going on on this textile pattern so we are going to now screenshot it and then drag and drop this image just quickly duplicate my artboard and get rid of that and then drag and drop boom now we're going to use the mosaic again so we're going to embed this image one more time and we go to object and then create object mosaic and for this one okay four by four is not really giving what i needed to give so let's change this to a five by five which means there should be i don't know 20 5 10 15 20 25 there should be 25 colors so here we have 25 different colors to work with super quick and easy you can also take the colors off the original image which is also really nice so yeah that's just another way of creating color palettes so back in behance again i want to show you if we go onto a branding project for example a logo design you'll see that most times they actually include the color codes there so let's say this one and just scroll down and yep yeah, there you go you have it so they have included their color codes there which means you can actually just copy those color codes i also really love this illustration project i think this is so beautiful and it shows how colors can just like make an artwork look so beautiful so i think this is a really awesome project i'm gonna give this one a like oh that is so cool i just i love colors i love how colors make you feel so yeah it's really really exciting let's click on this eco move one as well i'm pretty sure they will have color codes because it's a branding project and yeah there you go so they have their color codes and they've also included their gradients here which is also quite cool so you can create these really cool looking gradients out of your color palettes as well i feel like i went through this really fast so just slow down the video if i did go a little bit too fast but this was really fun showing you guys how to create different color palettes these are not the only ways that you can create beautiful color palettes these are just five simple ways that i can think of off the top of my head especially for graphic designers that are just entering or for beginner graphic designers colors can be quite overwhelming i love colors i love working with colors if you've seen my portfolio on my website you'll see that it's just like a color explosion and colors are difficult when you're first starting out it can be quite difficult to understand what colors work well and what colors don't another thing to look at is for tonal values so for example if you have two really bright colors next to each other it's not going to look so great but if you perhaps mute one of the colors then it will look good and again just going with that tonal contrast you can have something that's light and then something that's dark that'll also look good together so it just takes a little bit of practice and trial and error but if you look at these techniques that i've shown you today and if you play around a little bit more it'll definitely get easier and easier another great way same as looking on behance is just going to your favorite graphic designers looking at people that inspire you looking at their portfolio and then taking inspiration from designs that they have done or creations that they have done and working off their color palettes as a base color palette to create your own color palettes another great way to understand color is to read some books or watch some youtube videos on color color psychology the history of colors where colors come from why certain colors were used in certain ways for example if you look at bush paintings they were all made of natural colors and clay colors because they used to use blood and sand and clay and stones and eggs and that sort of stuff so all of their colors were limited or if you look at the color purple or the color blue and why that was considered to be a very royal expensive color back in the day because it was so difficult to source purple paint so I love the history of colors and understanding colors and where they come from and why they're used. So that's another important thing to do if you really want to understand colors to get to know colors. Maybe spend some time getting to know the history of colors. 
things and where they come from. It's very, very cool. One of my favorite graphic design books is The Secret Lives of Color by Cassia Sinclair. It is such a cool book. I have linked it below on my Amazon if you want to check it out. But basically it goes through the history of all the different colors and it basically tells you where they come from, why it was called that, why it was an important part in history. I really like this book very much and I definitely suggest it if you want to just, I don't know, get to know a little bit more about color. It also breaks down color spectrums and prisms and how we perceive color. So that is again really cool. Another thing to keep in mind, especially when you're doing branding projects, for example, people who are colorblind. So if you had to do like an orange and green or like a brown and green and they were like really murky and the tonal values are very similar, Someone who's colorblind might not be able to differentiate those colors. So that is something else that you can remember when you are doing your graphic design and branding projects is to take into consideration things like that and avoid situations where someone may not be able to read the color as well. Also just think of like the blue and gold dress that was that big viral sensation where people were like, oh, is this blue and gold or is it black and gold? I think that's what it was. Another super interesting part about colors is how people see them. And that's what I also love about color is everybody will perceive a color a certain way and you don't know what they are seeing and they don't know what you're seeing because no one will be able to fully say how my eyes are perceiving something or how your eyes are perceiving something. That is another great thing about colors and why I feel that colors is such a personal choice in things. But in order to make these beautiful color palettes, I hope that these five techniques or five ways of making color palettes was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more graphic design content like this. And if you have any suggestions for videos, anything that you want to know anything that you want me to elaborate on further let me know and we can chat about it also if you are interested watch this video if you enjoyed this video you will enjoy this video <laughs> as well okay guys have a great day wherever you're in the world and i'll see you soon bye